So it's the new instrument we invented. It's called the Touch. So I'm very happy to, to be here at the Music Tech Festival. My name is Bruno Verbruge. Um, so yes, I'm here to show you our new instrument. It's called the Dualo Do Touch. So before I made a little demonstration, I would like to tell you about the story because some of you are artists, are um, um, I mean hackers and so on. So what we did is, is the great story of uh, an ID and then at the end a commercial and industri industrial product. So um, the, the first ID was in 2007. Uh, my associate, Jules Autric, is a mathematician and invented a new layout of the keys. And uh, the purpose he had it was like um, that when you're a mathematician and a musician at the same time, you spend hours in harmonic books, for example, harmonic theory, uh, speaking about uh, books, speaking about harmonic theory. And what he found is that um, harmonic theory speak about very simple things because harmonic theory uh, have interest about interval distance between two notes and not the notes I itself. The thing is that once you go on a piano or on a guitar, what was very simple things in the harmonic theory became um, something pretty uh, complex. You have to learn skills, practice skills on a piano and so on. But at, at, uh, at the end, harmonic theory is exactly the same whatever the key you are playing in. But you have white keys and, and black keys and they are not symmet symmetric and that may make it complex. So the main idea of my associate is um, was to try to find the, the best way to organize the notes so as the notes that sound well together became uh, next to each other. So the main idea is that what he found inside the music theory is that if you take thirds, you make chords. So just one question, how many people doesn't know uh, absolutely nothing about harmonic theory? So, okay. So I will have both languages so everybody will understand. So the main idea, what you have to understand on our keyboard, on our layout of the keys, is that what we do is we put, we, I mean, we take a scale, like uh, let's say the, the C major scale. So it's C, D, E, F, G, and so on. You split it apart, and what you have here is one note on two, which means one, two, three, interval of thirds. So it's the same here, one, two, three, so it's a third. So for people that doesn't know music theory, it's very simple. One, two, three, it's a third, three notes. So what I have here is a sequence of third. What I have uh, here also is a sequence of third because it's uh, the same principle. Thirds are cool because they, they make chords. Back in the 17th century, Le Traité d'Harmonie Bien Tempéré de Monsieur Rameau um, talked about thirds and said this is chords. So you have two kinds of thirds, major and minor. So on our keyboard, very simple, we put major thirds that way. A little more volume, please. And minor third the other, the other way. So when my finger is here, I can have a major third if I go inwards. And if I go outwards, I will have a minor third. So the half tones are just there. And this is true if we want the keyboard. Major, minor, major, minor, major, minor, major, inwards, minor, outwards. So if I want to play a scale, um, a, score, a chord, I said that a chord is a sequence of third and they might be major or minor. So my major, minor, major, I have a chord. Whatever the shape I play, I can always, I mean, I will always make a chord because on the extreme, one extreme, this is only major thirds that make your chords. And on the other extreme, only minor third also make a chord. In the between, you have all combination. And so on. So, 
Believe me, this is true everywhere on the keyboard. So if I want to play a major tria, let's say a major chord, very simple one. This is a shape and this shape will be always a major chord. And so on. So, root, major third, minor third, fifths, augmented fifths, diminished fifths, and the major seven can be major in words, minor outwards. Very simple. So I have a shape here. The shape is always the same. I mean, it always has the same color everywhere on the keyboard. I also have a shape here because what I explained here is the same on the other hand. So a shape, a chord, a shape, a chord, and when I want to alternate them. I have the whole scale. So if I change the shape and I cross them, here you are. So in a few words, let's say we have uh, 300 years of harmonic theory resuming only seven shapes because you only have seven sa shapes and you can build all the scale you want with only seven shapes and in, in it works in every key. That's it. If you don't understand music theory at all, then you can improvise very quickly with only two constraints. First one is what I light up here is a scale. If I only play on the lights, I will be always in tune. And all the chromatics will be just over there, so it's very easy to make jazz and so on. Uh, for, the, for, the, for the musician guys, yes, the, the chromatic scale is here. And so on. So I have all the notes here and all the notes here, but they are separate between one tone, because this is a C and this is a D, and so on. Okay, so, what I said is you can improvise on two things, like if you only play on the lights, you'll be always in tune, and if you play uh, notes that are so, uh, just right next to each other, it will always sound well because they make chords. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> if you're a musician, to play what I, I just did, uh, it takes around five minutes. If you're not a musician at all and your problem is the rhythm, it will take you a day or two days, but not, not, not even more. So, on top of this new layout of the keys that uh, was, uh, first of all, built on the very first prototype in 2009, so the, the idea was in 2007, a first prototype tabletop, another prototype that was close to this one, but bigger and with um, uh, parts like Arduino and so on inside. Uh, and it was two in 2009. We, um, I mean, my associate played a lot in the street, in festivals, concerts, jam sessions, and so on. And the question he asked to a lot of people, around 2,000 2, people, was what will be for you? Um, the instrument of the 21 century or the instrument of the future and so on. So we took all the wishes of the, 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 the musicians and we put them inside. So, um, on the top of this layout of the keys, we have, I mean, uh, yeah, I, I don't have the computer. I mean, the computer is here uh, for uh, the, the, the screen, but it's not for the sound. The sound go in, uh, goes out directly from, from the instrument. So it's a synthesizer, a controller, and a looper sequencer at the same time. So let me, let me show you a very quick demo. Uh, I would have to say that I'm not the best musician playing the Dualo. So if you're a musician, you can have the same level that I have in a few days. So 
just, just to make you understand. So, maybe I can explain at the same time. We'll, we'll see. Okay, what I just did is that I, I just lighted up the, the key, so I'm gonna use the quantifier inside because I'm not a very uh, uh, straight uh, rhythmician. So I'm gonna play and uh, I will record it, record the, f the first loop that I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. So. Oh, I'm sorry. So I just watched my the lights blinking, and now I made a first loop that is quantitized. So I'm pretty sure that what I'm going to do will be in the rhythm. So to choose another instrument, very simple. I have a button here, and I have a screen on the top. Each of the keys are different instruments. We have 116 instruments inside. If you don't like the, the sound that are inside, the Dualo, the Dutouch is a sampler, so you use a USB cable, you build your own sound bank, and then you upload it inside. So next, I'm gonna add a bass. To record the bass, it's very easy. I just hit the button once, and it's waiting for me to start playing, I mean to start recording, and then, I just have to hit the button in another, um, uh, another time just to close the loop. Thank you very much. So, as you see, it's very easy and um, like you can improvise for hours, what I did not uh, do until now. So, uh, once again, it's very easy to have the same level that I, that I have now. Um, on this 
So this is the new version in the in this real version. We are very happy that because we are delivering it these days. So we already have 150 people that have pre-ordering it, and so we are shipping them this this week. So if you heard or order it, pre-order it now, you will have in two weeks, and see if you wait in two weeks, you will have in 40 hours. Um, 48 hours uh, to your home. So um, what we also did is that we implemented a lot of controller that I cannot show you today because it's not already uh, open. Because we op open all the features once, one by one, because we want it to be very um, stable. Uh, that make, makes not crash the software inside and so on. So we have rubber here and in here. I mean sliders. These ones are multi-point, so you can uh, have uh, you can um, uh, drive the the multi-effect inside, like on off the delay, on off the distortion, off of the wah wah, and the gain of the distortion on the other side. For example, we have the same here that have the volume, as you can uh, see it. Um, and what we have also, and we have that we have a gyroscope and an accelerometer built in inside, so it will allows me to uh, use the, the the instrument to modulate the, the sound by by the movement by my movement. So it's not already open, but you will be able to find a video on the internet showing um, these these things. The next step is once I have made this beautiful compositions. <laughs> As you can see, I have all the tracks here, so I was able to start and stop all the tracks. We did it the way maybe people know about uh, sound painting. It's a gestural language that allows you to make improvisations. We use it, uh, exactly the same things, is that you, you would be able to prepare your actions, say who, when, uh, who, what, uh, for, and uh, who, what, and uh, I don't remember the, the last one. And the when is when I release the button here. So I can prepare all the stuff and then release and say only when will be the action. So the next step is that uh, using the USB port, I will be able to put all my composition inside the, 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 the computer. We, would, we have 58 slots, which contains uh, seven track and up to 40, uh, no, not 40, 24 loops um, for each slot. So already a lot, but if you have need more space, then you will be able to export and import your composition to the computer. And then the next step is that I will be able to share my composition on what we call the Dualo community, which is a sharing platform uh, linked to internet. And you'll be able to take the composition that I did on my profile and to upload it directly inside your own DoTouch. So you'll, you'll be able to play with uh, all the tracks, like this. You can also play on the top, you can improvise around and so on and so on, replace a few. But what would be very nice is that if you want to learn what I did, so it's very simple, if you want to learn um, the, um, the last keyboard I, that I did, I just ask him to show me score so you just have to follow the lights like on a video game and you'll be able to uh, learn the composition that I made if it's too fast then you can load down the tempo usually I do it with the, the, the gyroscope but like this Makes you an idea of what we can do with the gyroscope if we plug the gyroscope to the to the to the temple. I'm I'm doing it with with, with the slider, but you know you know the point. All right, so uh, it's the first instrument that is uh, connected, and it's the first instrument that you can learn uh, like a video game on your couch or on, on your bed with headphones. We have uh, MIDI output, USB MIDI output. Soon it will be wireless MIDI. Um, you're gonna have also uh, you have headphones out and uh, line out out. So I just wanted because you're musicians and because I'm not the the best player of the duo, I just wanted to show you uh, a video 
of my associate who's playing the duolo and who is the best player in the world and he would like to enter a competition <laughs> and he would be very happy if some someone uh, took off his throne and become the best player uh, the best duolo player of the world and uh, because he feel he feel a little alone nowadays <laughs> but but that's okay because i mean until now there were there were only uh, 30 um uh, duolo instruments uh, uh, in the world so we're going to have 100 more than 100 very soon so that will be okay If, if I have time, like 30 seconds again? 30 seconds. Okay, uh, so I just wanted to show you that because we are here for the Music Tech Festival that um, you would be able to program your own sound that I said, but we also have the USB MIDI in, so you can do very cool things like this one if you use the MIDI in. If some of you wants to learn it, I have it in, in the, the, the Duolo and you'll be able to play on the lights and, and I'm sure uh, you only need 20 minutes to get it.
Thank you. Thank you very much for your attention. 